Welcome to the image analysis for the AP clavicle. Image analysis guidelines for the AP projection of the clavicle state that the medial clavicular end should lie next to the lateral edge of the vertebral column. The clavicle and superior scapular angle are visualized at the same transverse level. The mid-clavicle is at the center of the exposure field. The clavicle and acromion process are included within the exposure field. Let's just review some common uh, positioning errors. Just like in the shoulder, a lot of the rotation rules and um, tilting rules apply to the clavicle. If the uh, clavicle is, or torso, I'm sorry, is rotated away from the affected clavicle, the AP projection, um, you will see that the medial clavicular end is uh, superimposing the vertebral column rather than uh, being just lateral to the vertebral column. In order to correct this, you'll have to move the patient towards the affected clavicle in order to get that mid-coronal plane parallel with the IR. When the torso is rotated toward the affected clavicle, the medial clavicular end will, of the clavicle will draw away from that vertebral column and the clavicle will be foreshortened in the resulting projection. So you will have to rotate the patient um, uh, back so that their uh, mid-coronal plane is parallel with the IR. As discussed in our previous video, when there is plane tilting, we're looking for that superior scapular angle in its relationship to the clavicle. It should lie within the trans same transverse plane as the clavicle, uh, but when there is anterior tilt, that superior uh, scapular angle will be projected above the uh, clavicle. When there is posterior tilt, the scapular angle will be projected inferior to the clavicle. So in both um, situations, you will need to um, properly align the patient's mid-coronal plane so that it is parallel with the IR. Let's take a look at our first practice analysis. First, we want to make sure that we have all our anatomic structures that we need for the projection. We're looking for a clavicle, and we have a clavicle. Next, we need to determine, is the patient positioned appropriately? We're first going to look at the medial clavicular end of the clavicle. Here, you can see that it is drawn away from the lateral border of the vertebral column. Therefore, the patient is rotated away from the, um, oh, sorry, excuse me, towards the affected shoulder. Uh, in order to correct this, we need to rotate the patient away from the affected shoulder until that um, MCP is parallel with the IR and the shoulders are equal distance from the IR. In our next practice analysis, again, we're looking for an AP clavicle. We have an AP clavicle. However, we need to look if there, see if there's any positioning errors. When looking at this projection, uh, you can see that the superior scapular angle is projected superiorly to the uh, uh, mid-clavicle area. This should indicate to you that the patient's MCP is tilted anteriorly. So we need to straighten up that upper thoracic vertebra, vertebra until the mid-coronal plane is aligned parallel with the IR. In our last uh, AP projection practice analysis of the clavicle, 
First, we want to see if we have our anatomic structures. And evidently, we have clipped the medial clavicular end of the clavicle. So the central ray was positioned too laterally for this projection. Also, when looking for the superior angle of the scapula, it is projected inferior to that uh, clavicle. This should let you know we have some tilting issues. The patient was tilted posteriorly. You want to make sure we get that patient's MCP parallel with the IR to correct this uh, imaging error or positioning error. Let's move on to the AP axial projection of the clavicle. Image analysis guidelines for the AP axial clavicle projection state that the medial clavicular end lies next to the lateral edge of the vertebral column. The superior scapular angle is visualized and inferior to the clavicle. Medial end of the clavicle is superimposed over the first, second, and or third rib. Middle and the lateral thirds of the clavicle are seen superior to the acromion process and the clavicle bows upwardly. The mid clavicle is at the center of the exposure field. The clavicle and chromium process are included within the exposure field. And here are those image analysis guidelines. Let's look at this uh, AP axial uh, image analysis of the clavicle. First, we see that the medial uh, end of the clavicle is superimposing over the third rib, which is this, the third rib here, okay, coming out, which is fine. However, the um, clav lateral clavicular end here is um, not superior to the acromion here. It is actually in line with it. Therefore, the central ray was insufficiently angled. We need to increase that degree of cephalic uh, angulation to um, uh, appropriately get that um, clavicle position for this uh, AP axial projection. Let's move on to the AC joints. The image analysis guidelines for the AC joints AP projection state that the lateral clavicle should be demonstrated as horizontal, about uh, 0.125 of an inch of space should be present between the lateral clavicle and the chromium apex. The lateral clavicle demonstrates minimal acromion process superimposition. The clavicle and superior scapular angle are demonstrated at the same transverse level. AC joint is at the center of the exposure field for both the non-weight bearing and weight bearing exposures. Lateral clavicle acromion process, superior angle of the scapula should all be included within the exposure field. You should note that you should always um, place word markers on your imaging to determine between which projection is with weights and which projection is without weights. Here is some of those image guidelines. This is an image with weights. All of the common positioning error, errors that were discussed in the clavicle and shoulder are applicable to AC joint projections. We also want to look for rotation, any plane tilting. Um, in order to um, ensure we uh, 
provide a image of quality. This concludes our image analysis. If there are any questions or concerns, please reach out to me uh, via uh, clinic or the my email. Thank you for participating.